haven't done yoga in the evening with friends since last Wednesday. So great to have you. Some more friends look like they're cruising in. Nice to have you on board. Relax, take a load off. More friends joining in. Good to see you. Nice deep breath together. Several minutes more of relaxation. It's early yet. We are calm and peaceful souls. Let your eyes relax back, sink into the floor. Easy does it. Some more friends are joining in. Good to have you. And perhaps we can direct a little more breathing down to our belly. Get more of that calm and peaceful belly breathing going. Could we might tap into our feels for a few moments, just let them rise like a wave on the ocean and roll in and roll out. Breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe, the prescription to health and healing.
Ooh. Okay, two more minutes. Fall asleep if you want. Okay, so we should begin to begin. Biggest inhale you got, feeling your whole life so far. Exhale, remembering that everything is always working out for us. Nice and empty for a moment. Good, wiggle your fingers and toes, circulate some super feel good, some getting ready for class feels through you. Arms up to the ceiling, lace your paws, stretch up and get a good warm up, stretchy feeling going on. It should be accompanied with a smile, of course. Smiling sig signals our brain that we're happy, joyous and free. Good. Draw your knees in for some knee hugging and back rolling. Roly poly guacamoles. Other way. Okay, we should ought to roll up now and do something. What do you think? That was a lot of nothing, but sometimes nothing is the best thing you can do. Cheers, happy Wednesday. Hope you had a great Memorial Day. It's good to see my friends. Good group of some of my very best friends. Welcome to YouTubers. More people are joining this live stream. I should be up to a million subscribers in no time. I'm gonna have one sip and then we're off to the races, kids. Most importantly, is Polywog in class, I wonder? Just curious. Not right now, maybe later. Okay. All right. Well, here we are starting in a forward fold, right? Dangling our head, wagging our shag, dipping our dew, draining, oscillating our rear, pedaling our heels, getting out of our analytical mind. I'm not sure life can be figured it out, figured it out. Have you figured it out yet? It seems to be a continuous mystery to me. Lift both heels, bend both knees, look forward. Exhale and get some deep on. One, some more friends join. Nice to have you two, three, and come up, jokes. All right, and we'll come on up. Big ol' inhale. Oh, I'm ready for some midweek yoga. I like we're doing um, hybrid tonight. Left foot forward, right toenails. One, two, three. I was trying to figure out why my calves and shins were so sore lately, other way. And I realized it's from playing the drums. So I'm trying to build up some new muscular in a part of my body where I've not used it. So yoga helps, seven, eight. Drop into your feet. Took a great new lesson from a new drum teacher today. I prize music teachers like I used to prize yoga teachers. I love good teaching. Good, come up and out, right foot forward, left toenails. Swirl your twirl, one, two. This guy must teach a lot of drum lessons. He lives in a big, beautiful house up in the Lafayette Hills, so. I enjoyed contributing to him. Seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sink in. He lives near Upper Happy Valley Road. And if you live on that road, you're definitely happy. That's for sure. 
sink in. There's Polly Wog. Hi, guy. Hey, the Wog. Good to see you. Wave at Polly. Hi, Paul. Good to see you. All right. Now we're going to do cat toys in the way. We're going to do some zombie stepping just to get into our body. And my drum teacher busted me for holding my shoulders up and stiff hands. Can you imagine me, a yoga teacher, being stressed when I do music? Yep, just like everybody else when it comes to something new. Good, now, arms out, right knee, left knee. He said, dude, you're holding your drumsticks way too tight. And it reminds me when I'm teaching new golfers, relax your hands. But when you're new, it's hard to do that. There's tension that builds up. That's why I think it's always so good to be learning something new and interesting. Whatever it is, keep our brains fresh, lively, perky, and quirky. Good. All right. And grip our feet, swing our arms, close your eyes. Give yourself a good swack. Sometimes you need a good swack. Swing, slap, swing, slap, three, two. Now, next time you go to your right, left hand, right shoulder, right arm behind your back, grip your feet, bend your knees, corkscrew into the earth. Get that feeling of really augering in. Inhale, and it springs over to the other side. It does. Knees bent, butt drop, shoulders relax, eyes turn left, and release out of that. I'm already feeling it, you guys. Exhale out. By it, I mean the joy and passion of living. And we'll do ringy springies. Up and down. Roll that beautiful ripple through your molecules. Three. Good, Polly Wog. Doing good. I like your prison garb. It looks really cool. I have the same stuff. Three. Two. One. And yoga inhale. Mm -hmm. Feet together, of course. Up on your tippy toes, of course. Way up. And I guess I better strengthen my shins and ankles and calves, huh? 20, 19. Haven't I done enough of that? Not when you use something over and over and over again. So yoga keeps you available to do the things you love and to learn new things. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Now stay up on one. In fact, I challenge each and every one of you to pick up a new skill, a new hobby, a new interest, just something you've never done before that you've always wanted to do and just start, just start. The power is in starting. Drop your heels, knuckles on your head, side bend left. Good, inhale kids. Exhale to the right. Crack, 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 crack. And arms up and a feet together forward fold. It's our first Uttanasana. My head drops off, bonk. Lift heels, bend knees, get a better look at Polly Wog when I'm down here. Polly, exhale deep and one. Heels dig, two, head down, three. Arise up, Jogans. Come on up. Up you go. Inhale. Exhale out. Good. Now, wider stance. Four poofs up your back. Poof. I swear this joint juice sequence within five minutes, I can be just wiped out. And then I've got all the energy I need to do the frisky and the risky. Poof. While being purry and furry. Good, now lace your hands behind your back. Now heels in, toes out, and we'll go full kangaroo, looking into our pouch. 
Now, if you go lower, I won't keep you here that long. If you just really go low, low head down, lift heels, drop butt. Lifting heels, dropping butt admittedly is challenging, but I think Stephanie, when she's in class, she can bring her rear to the floor with her heels up, blah, blah, drop heels, come up, jogies. Release thwang, toes in, heels out. Push sky up, earth down from the center of your body. Side bend. Turn your chest up if you're feeling it. Ooh, good. Inhale. And resilience, stretchy, springy, strong, firm, right? Beautiful. Come on up. And release out. Okay. Head. All one. Two, I can't believe my drum teacher accused me of tight shoulders. I'm just so appalled. Five, six, I was going to judge his posture, but I decided against it. Seven, eight, other way, one, two. I'm paying him. He's not paying me, so better be good. Four, five. How can you not do neck rolls every day? Seven. And relax your head down. Eyes closed. Twelve seconds of eyes closed, standing. Euphoria, meforia, weforia. It's good to close your eyes and relax a moment. Oh, I heard on the chat that Paul wants to own. So inhale up. Oh. Prayer hands, eyes closed. Capital idea, Pollywog, capital. Good, now arms relax and shoulders. Pollywog is already bold and confident enough to say what he wants to do in class. So I, I like that about the wog. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, shoulders back up over, around, and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You know we're gonna do hands. It's a hands-on class. Roll it around. The cure for isms and itis rheumatism and arthritis other way one three four five six seven eight shake cast the burden it says in the scripture cast the burden fear worry anxiety shake it out we have to actively cast it away it's an action we can't be passive about it Good, and now say hello to calm and peace, joy and love, abundance, prosperity, lot of intelligence, wisdom, very little humility. Good, cup your hands at your heart, feel all that flowing in. Good, now we'll drop our arms, we'll inhale up yoga style, just regular inhale. Then we'll put our hands on our iliac crest, our cute hips, toes in, heels out. And while our heads will remain stationary, we'll push the envelope with the hips. Office Depot humor. While our heads remain stationary, we'll circle the envelope of our hips. Office Depot humor is usually not funny. Seven, eight, good. Grind it, kids. Turn your butt, er, four, five. Dependable, rhythmic, 
human movements, uh, six, that everybody can do. Nobody has an excuse. Well, they do, but it's not legit. Eight, inhale up, kip. Good, now feet together, knee fruit salads. Oh, one, two. Now remember in public classes, we used to do this side by side and we would always just go a little lower than the person next to us just to make them feel, well, to make ourselves feel superior. Six, seven, et, one, two, three. Good, lower you guys, I can feel it. Five, six, seven. We're just doing the warm up of the warm up tonight, so fear not, inhale up. I do owe you a Wednesday in. Exhale out, left arm in front of your right, palms in, applesauce, crisscross up, crisscross applesauce, pull up, tippy toe units, up on your toes, polywog, close your eyes, balance on your tippy toes, challenging. Open your eyes, drop your heels, palm trees left. I like side bending. Up you go, to the right. Not so much back bending, but I like my side bending, I must admit. Inhale, and arms down, flip them over to a delicious forward fold, head drops off, yay. Lift heels, bend knees, look forward, long spine, soft part. Exhale, grab ankles, pull into Helgasana, deep forward fold. One, two, head drops, three. Bueno, come up, up you go. And exhale out, right arm out in front, palms in, great shoulder opener, good for our hands. Clap for yourself, pull, tippies, chin, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good. And palms right. Lean in. Legs straight, strong, and firm. Inhale. Polly, you have more energy than my cat, or about the same. I think Looney and Pollywog should be in class at the same time. That would be, we would have to film that. Inhale up and arms are down, flip them over, drop your head off, bonk. Lift heels, bend knees, big nose, inhale, big inhale through your nose, not that you have a big nose. Exhale, all the air out, one, explore depth, two, heels dig, toenails lift, three, come on up. Good, just one more joint juice, I think you're going to like it, I think. Regular yoga, exhale. Good, one more inhale and prep for super squeezy twisty pose. Parivrita Ukatasana, up you go. Pull hands down and how scrunch can you get down and to your right? This is one of them $5 poses. Shoulder blades pull down our back, knees line up. So do ankles. Toes are all in alignment like a bouquet. Now, wherever your butt is, just drop your butt about a quarter of an inch, head forward, drop your chin, squeeze, sink, stretch. I teach this to my Pleasant Hill class on Tuesday nights and every, people kind of grumble about this one, but they're loving the results. Rock back a little, uh-oh. And drop your arms, come on up. Inhale while you're kind of out of breath. And down into the left. Super right elbow outside your left knee. Tuck your knees to the right if you want. In other words, all you have to do is just get as compact as you can. And someone's going to serve tea on our back, even though it's past tea time in England. It's tea time tomorrow with Todd at 12.26 p.m., subliminal commercial. Lift your toes, splay them open. I've got to get some polywog prison gear. I just think that's the cutest look for youngins. 
and drop your arms, kids. Oh, that was good. Now we're going to ohm for polywog. Inhale for polywogs. Oh. Half a minute standing meditation, and then we'll shift gears. Blessings on half a minute with your higher power. Very good. Peace is a practice, isn't it? You have to practice peace to be good at it. And we'll have a seat because it's a hybrid class tonight. Hibrido. <laughs> okay, one seated forward fold is a transition into part due. Now, everybody in my class, we're always the most flexible people. Your head comes all the way down. So sometimes if you waddle your buns back, you get a little more spinal room. Shoulders relax, elbows, elbow creases turn up to drop elbows, soft hair. Okay, enough lollygagging, come on up. Inhale, yogis. Exhale your arms out. Good, now palms behind you and champagne bottoms, caviar rears. If you were wearing prison garb, your stripes would stretch and widen Head back, chest up, make it dramatic. And come on down. Good. All right. Now we stretch our legs out. Fan your toes open like fans. Now close your eyes and I'm going to come kick you over. And there's something inside of you, your strong and determined self that says, no, you actually aren't going to kick me over because I can root in. I can become so strong and stable that the people that used to kick me over can't anymore. That's kind of a that's kind of a nice mental attitude. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What's the definition of meek? Big weapons never used. Stretch up really high. Good, now make yoga fists for strong wrists. Plant wrists, feet, up you go. Now Polly Porcupine's gonna walk underneath this, so lift up for Polly Porcupine. You better. Good, now we shall sink down, yes we shall. Now, Greg's going to flop his left thigh over his right. And a lot of y'all are going to slink your left ankle under because it's just that cool thing that a lot of humans can do. Then slide in as far as you can with or without your ankles crossed, but certainly your knees crossed. Walk your hands in and then stand up on your tippy toes and lift thy buns to heaven. Please, way up. Good, now sink your right heel down with your right heel staying down. Lift your hips up again as high as you can. Then with your buns still up, 
Bring your knees forward with your right heel down to stretch your right calf muscle. I can't come forward that far, but some people can come way far forward out over their right foot. Good kids, now please just sink down. Now from here, I'm going sideways a little bit, right? Some people say I'm always going sideways. Now I'm just gonna reach up and grab my uppermost knee, rest my head down and squeeze out painful patterns of perception, PPP. Good. Now on Wednesdays, we always owe ourselves a little floor core more, so we're sore. Touch your knee to your nose. Fingertips on the back of your head. 10 crunchies, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, hold your knee on your nose, nose on your knee. Good, now rest your head down, knees stay where they are, crossed. And I put a blanket underneath my neck. I need it for this one. I'm gonna roll my crossed knees and ankles down to my right. And we'll open out into a yin twist for half of a minute. Get what you need. The nature of the practice now is going to slow down a little longer in the sets. Really good to have a blanket underneath your neck if you're less flexible than the most flexible bear. Hollywog doesn't need it. Good kids, now let's bring our knees back up, please. And Linda Benatar's favorite pose, legs up. Half a minute for circulation, inspiration. Respiration, aspiration. Good. Now we're widening out to the splits because it's very healthy to stretch our legs out to the side and nobody wants to do it. Can't blame them. Five, four, ankles, three, Two, one, other way, two, three, four, five. Hold it for five seconds out to the side. Good for you. Yoga's hard sometimes. Good, now we be squeezing our legs back together again. Bend our knees into our chest and we'll roll up with alacrity. I don't know how I ended up over there. Cables everywhere. I think my cat must have done that. Okay, let's chant an ohm before we do part two for Polywog. Inhale. Oh. Now you might say something inside of yourself like, I am a calm, peaceful soul. More of the time, except at Costco. That's okay there though. Good, now we'd be gonna be putting our right thigh over our left, right? Correct? Now you bendy bear, slink that right ankle under cause it's so cool. Now slide in as far as you can, and then further than that. And now, buns to the ceiling, left tippy toes, full on kids. This, doing this with your thighs crossed, oh my God, serious hip flexor opening. Good, now drop your left heel down. Now lift your rear as high as you can. 
keeping your left heel down. It's a whole different thing, isn't it? Good. Now, just bring your body weight as far out over your left foot as you can. Good kitty cats. Now drop thy buns carefully on your back. Reach up and grab uppermost knee and be your own main squeeze. Uh. This is good for digestion. Squeeze in our guts. Thank God for our guts. Think of the work they do just without any acknowledgement. Thank you, spleen. Thank you, gallbladder. Thank you, pancreas. Thank you, both livers. Squeeze. Good kid cats. Now touch your right knee to your nose. Reach forward. Good squeezing. Fingertips on back of head. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Good. Head down. Greg recommends blanket underneath neck. Knees roll all the way left, even if your right shoulder lifts. And then after your knees come all the way down, yay, your right shoulder opens, yes. Your head can go to the right as long as your torso leads the parade. Relax like a bag of bones. Good. Now let's inhale our knees back up, please. And then grab your big old toes and half a minute of happy baby without the rolly. Just knees pulled to the floor. Buns have sandbags on each cheek. Drop your chin, long back of your neck, shoulders relaxed. And definitely pull. I mean, we should be engaged here. If everybody just did this one pose once a day, the world would be 15% happier at least. Okay, kids, now let's roll up temporary. Whoop, roll up. Now, Greg, why did you waste my time by making me roll up when we're only going to be on our back again? Because I just, I'm going sideways again. And the reason for this is we're just going to do a nice little right knee in, left leg out, upside down runner's lunge for a moment in preparation for supta wupta pada gustasana. Now, I think everyone in this class can reach up and grab their right big toe with their right knee bent. The, the dicey part is in a moment when we straighten our right leg and we're all going to scream, okay? But for now, we're breathing. The tissue is soft. The left heel is extending forward. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is dropped. Okay, now we're going to do the breath work and the fun screaming part. Ready? Inhale, knee bends. Exhale, right leg fully straightens. Goes all the way over your body. Leg shakes. One, two, Ooh, three, right knee bends, happy squishy part. One, two, three, that's inhale, of course. Exhale, full straighten. One, two, three, and bend your right knee all the way down to the floor outside your right rib cage. And you have a friend standing on your left thigh, ex-friend. Good, now release that leg. That was fine for a Wednesday. Leg up. Left knee in, as you might imagine, upside down runner's lunge for several moments to get 
our buns open. Now, because our left knee comes in, you don't want your right knee to come in. You want your right knee to extend away from us. 10 sandbags on our right leg. We want our guts to relax. We want the left thigh bone to deepen into the hip and socket. In a moment, we'll do the happy breath work, which will make us very flexible. Inhale. Exhale, fully straighten left leg. One, two, oh, three. Good. Inhale, bend. We can do anything for three seconds, right? Bend, bend, inhale, inhale. Exhale, fear straightening. One, no, really straighten it. Two, three, and bend it. Bring it in. Good, 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 good. Okay, bring both knees in. And roll up Whoop. ah what a good sequence i love these hybrid classes now don't think i didn't forget switch your legs the weird way the way that's like i don't do it that way and come on down and now you're feeling stretchy warm relaxed calm head bonks on the floor very good come up my friends Keep it moving, keep it grooving. So from here, we'll stand right leg out thus. We'll put lefty ankle over right knee and we'll go into Yogasana, right shin folds under. For me, this pose is a piece of furniture. That's what asana means, furniture, chair. Okay, so I want this to settle and ground in. I want to make a stable base for my upper body. Hugs. Good. Now, what's cool is how far you can go side to side with your stable um, base without falling over when you do this. So maybe you can go super far. I can go over to my lamp and I can go play the piano and lamp. Of course, with internal and out turtle rotation. But now, how far can you go to the right without, let your left bun lift a little. Now reach for the right and drop your left bunnage down. Good, now right hand comes down. She may be your right elbow. Reach way up so you feel the side of your body say, wow. Now you can walk your right hand or elbow over, extend your arm all the way over behind your head and turn your chest up to the ceiling. Relax your right shoulder four inches away from your right ear. Inhale up, kitty cats. Oof, <laughs> needed that. Okay, one more zing. Right arm under, fling. Fold them up, and now we'll do the opposite. We're gonna go up and down, side to side, in and out with our elbows. What shape suits you tonight? I'm kind of feeling a bit of a zig and a zag. Now elbows face seriously to the right. Hi, Polly Wog. Yay, Pauls. Good to see you. Squirm in a bit, turn your face to the left. Tilt your head to the left. Drop your chin, and we're teaching Polly Wog how to be a calm and peaceful two-year-old. Kitty cat, slide hands out to elbows. This most dependable arm sequence. After a while, your elbows will move way behind your head. It's pretty cool. And then we'll bring the blows down, elbows down. 
No, I'd, I'd be careful in my beginning Tuesday night Pleasant Hill class, but I'm not as scared of you guys sliding your left knee on top of your right knee all the way. Pull your heels in right to your bottom, all the way in. Smash your feet, smash your feet. That pins your buns down. And now just bring your chin down to the floor, just kidding, without your behind lifting. Now, just to make it more fun slash miserable, grab your right hand with your left wrist behind your back. That way you have to depend on your rear end a little more and fold down over yourself. You okay, Todd? Give me thumbs up. You got a cramp? I had the worst cramp of my life earlier today from playing the drums. I thought I was going to die. I've never, I don't usually get cramps and I was just about ready to call 911. Good, now come up friendly friends. Now to ensure we never get another cramp ever again, a guy can dream, right elbow on your left knee. Now I'm gonna hook my elbow way down here. And this is the one where you bendy bears bring both elbows down. Probably everybody's gonna get a cramp now. You know it's good for cramps, bananas. But if you don't like bananas, banana cream pie works fine. Drop your hair. And if you have any painful patterns of perception left in you, not anymore after this. This is the strongest twist that I still engage. I, there are stronger ones, but I'm golfing tomorrow and I really like my happy body. Friendly friends come out of hideous situation. Keep lower body as is. Take opposable thumbs into middle center bottom of feet. And I went to a yoga class with Greg and a happy reflexology class broke out as we massaged middle center bottom of feet i think i'm getting more used to my dental device most of my lift has gone away you can troll me otherwise if you'd like good now push your thumb through your foot close your eyes now i want you to chant ohm inside of your head not out the speaker big inhale and just chant a beautiful ohm inside of your sanctuary Good, extract thumbs from punctured feet. Undo your legs. Ooh. All right, now left leg out, right one over, plop. We're not crossing the knees all the way. The knees stay wide in this one, correct? Your shins kind of line up. <clears throat> Some teachers have called this box pose. People that don't know Sanskrit like me all right, just as an aside, go side to side, but can you make your upper body move without your tail feathers flaring? Linda, your outfit looks kind of like Pollywog. It's cute. It's nice. I got one of my cat shirts on. Good. What do you think about putting your left hand on the floor? Can you do that? Does this, does this cheek lift? Pushing that down. Maybe you can bring your elbow to the floor if you're an exceptional human being. And then to the top of the cat tower, to the moon, Alice, Jackie Gleason, back when you could threaten your wife on TV, that wasn't cool. We've come a long way. Turn your chest up. Drop that right hip. Relax that left elbow down. Looking good, Helga, wow. And stay here. 
and come up out of happy situation. Might as well call it happy. Big hugs, you think? Left arm under, flinging, ing, ing, ing. Ups and downs, left and right, circles, triangles, octagons. What do you got? I'm feeling circles today. Other way. Man, the days are getting shorter, you guys. It happens every year this time. But such a nice day. Elbows face all the way seriously to the left. Face all the way to the right. Tilt your head to the right. Look saucy. Drop your chin. Pray. Every pose is a hieroglyph of the soul. Good hands cleverly slide to elbows, but cross to the other way. It's so cool. Up you go. And just move your upper arms till they're horizontal with the earth. Actually, don't do that. You'll dislocate your arm. But this is good. My bike is still broken. The motor broke 14 months into my 12 month warranty. <laughs> you got to love that. Do they design it that way? I think they do. Okay, now arms down. Now, only my veterans would I do this to. Right knee on top of your left, please. This keeps you from having a tight A, so to speak. Okay, can't have that. Now, what's cool is the some people call this, Carolyn used to call this shoelace pose. You're wearing Velcro shoelaces. And you lean your chin down to the floor. Sorry, Todd, you look good in Virasana, though, my man. This isn't the most comfortable pose. Oh, you should relax your shoulders. Yeah, me too. Good. Now grab your left wrist with your right hand on your back. And then you got to grip you the pores of your undercarriage into the earth. Thence the kids arise out. That's inhale. Left elbow, right knee, looking bored and disinterested, temporary though. What have you done for me lately? Now I'm sucking my innards in. We call it Nauli, N-A-U-L-I. I would show that to you without my shirt on, but I wouldn't do that to you. Good. Now, elbows down on the floor, kitty cats. Use that left elbow to lengthen your spine. And Todd, you can do whatever you want, except no iPad. Todd says, I'm going into Shavasana. Relax your shoulders. Breathe. Inhale, still in the pose. Exhale for extra super compression. Good yogis, now come on out slowly. Do you really have a choice? Maybe polywog. Separate your leggies. Good, and then pose dedicated to the Yoga Sage Halgasana, Paschimottanasana. Probably my, I shouldn't call it my least favorite pose, but straight legged forward fold. I think the reason that I don't like it so much, it's not that it hurts my body, it hurts my ego, because I want to look the best in class whenever I do anything. Shoulders relaxed. Inner ankle bones kind of push together. Baby toes flare in. Shoulders easy. Chin drops. Now I'm going to try to make some progress in this pose in this lifetime. So I'm going to inhale, bend my knees a couple of inches for the happy part. Grab my great toes. 
Exhale to fierce Baya Kumbhaka, suffering group, suffering one, two, four, bend your knees, inhale, look forward to your bright future, roll inner ankle bones and knees together because I don't want to either, inhale, and exhale to gross, happy suffering, one, deep in two, three, Good. Now let's stay here for a moment and enjoy, enjoy. And come up, my friends. Okay, now guess what? Guess what Greg's going to make you do before you go into squishy, happy Shavasana? You have to meditate for a minute. And I've taken roll, so I'm going to know who's been naughty and who's been nice. A little naughty's fine. Tall spine, shoulders relaxed, chin level, eyes closed. One minute of whatever your brand of meditation is. Or prayer. Thanks, you guys. That felt really good. I hope you enjoyed the sanctuary, the bliss. I invite my dear friends onto their back for happy Shavasana minutes and good job on a Wednesday night doing all the things. Proud of you guys. Auf Wiedersehen, auf Wiedersehen. Bye, Annie. Bye, Pollywog.
All right, stay nice and relaxed. Head back into your body slowly. Good, so you got your skin suit back on, it fits good. Feel your body weight on the floor. Wiggle your fingers and toes, circulate consciously conjured, feel good through yourself. When you think of Greg, think of consciously conjured, feel good being swished through your nervous system. Excellent. And slowly onto your right side, taking your time. And then with eyes closed, of course, we'll sit up together, able to find our center with our eyes closed. That's a beautiful kind of proprioception. Where's my center? Is it outside of myself? Or is it inside of myself? Good, the beautiful ritual hands to our heart. Head bows in humility. Holy, sacred, and reverent we are. Calm and peaceful. Altogether, the super mighty Wednesday yogis, we all say, Namas Wednesday. Okay, best class ever. You want to know why? Because of you. All right, so we'll go to gallery view real quick. Say hello. Eight people have left. Three people remain for saying hello. Howie and Todd Schultz, good to see you guys. Hi, Greg. Hey. Looking tomorrow. Yeah, me too, man. Did you get some bad cramps there? No, it's just just uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know it's good for cramps. Might all. Yeah, it's great. Just kidding. It's a joke. Good to see you. I'll see you tomorrow. Stuart, my man, you got a pirate shirt on. Is that an Oakland Raider shirt? Just a pirate. Okay, good. Me too. Excellent. Good to see you. Linda Benatar, looking good in feline gear. Yes, you look like a superhero or something. Yes, you do. Okay, you guys, I love you. Moi, moi, moi. See you next week. Be extra happy, you guys. Enjoy.